The Dodgers may be on the opposite coast of the country, but they could very well bring a championship title home tonight. The boys in blue just need one more win yes. to become eight-time World Series champions. KCAL Sports reporter Darren Haynes is live in New York with more on tonight's crucial game. Good morning. I hope you're getting some love in New York and not all hate. Uh, no, I mean, everybody seems pretty nice. I mean, you get a few, like, honk, you know, people beeping their horn and stuff like that. But overall, listen, we're, we're pretty good. And for the record, my poncho is in my backpack right now because <laughs> if the Dodgers win tonight, I'm putting that poncho on. They can pop all the champagne. They can pour all the beer on me. I am ready to go. I don't wear, I don't wear goggles, though. I don't wear goggles. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, when I was in the clubhouse, yes, when I was in the clubhouse yesterday for the Dodgers, I mean, this team is absolutely confident. They are not surprised that they are up 3-0 against the New York Yankees in the World Series. But one of the things they mentioned was that they're not going to overlook this New York Yankees team. They know they're the best in the American League, and they're not going to lay down very easily, you guys. How are the players feeling being uh, one game away from winning the World Series? So it's interesting because... We kind of brought up this question when they're in the NLDS against the Padres, also the NLCS as well um, against the Mets, where they don't want to necessarily get overconfident, be like, you know what, we're going to lock this bad boy up right now. We know we're going to lock it up. But what I do know is they keep saying, let's just keep playing our type of baseball. Let's play our type of baseball. Our biggest enemy or our biggest threat is ourselves. Yeah. And so if they can just play like the Dodgers have normally played, they can get that job done. Well, that's, I have to say, you know, watching the last several games, but specifically last night, you have so many players. Uh, usually, you know, we're, we talk about Shohei all the time. There are big names on this team, but really, I, it's been, like, so fun to watch Freeman and even Mookie Betts, you know, some of these. Uh, talk about the big moments that have allowed them, really as a team, to be in this position. Yeah, so like you, you mentioned Mookie Betts. This was a guy who was like on this hitless streak going into this postseason. He has literally adjusted the way he swings his bat. He's playing better. Freddie Freeman, we mention that all the time, his ankle injury. Like, what ankle injury? The guy <laughs> has hit a home run in three straight World Series games. Um, and then one of the things that was a weakness going into this postseason was a starting pitching for the Dodgers. But that has literally been one of the, the highlights of their postseason run. If you look at their three starters in these first three games, They've literally only given up three earned runs. That's literally one run a game for the Yankees. That's not going to win you a baseball game in the World Series. So a lot of people stepping up, and some people are stepping up who we didn't expect to step up as well during this postseason run. Well, that's, I almost think they should have kept Bueller in longer last night. He played so well. Uh, say that again? I could have seen Bueller staying in a little bit longer last night. He, he was pitching so well. Yeah, I, listen. Walker Buehler coming off that second Tommy John surgery. I mean, if you look at his last three starts in the World Series, he's, a, he's only given up, I believe, like only like three earned runs yeah. over those three World Series starts. Uh, so he is definitely balling as well. But he loves those big-time moments. I was <laughs> talking to him before going to New York. I was like, hey, good luck in New York. And he's like, man, I can't wait to bring the energy, that Dodger <laughs> energy in New York. I love it. <laughs> Darren, thank you so much. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.